Everyone loves Mike Ellis. He is the most unselfish volunteer that a fraternity could have. He is all about making a difference in the undergrads. And he's both, he, he's pretty much done all that SIG, a SIGEP can do as a volunteer, both nationally and at the chapter level. Just a few things from his resume. Member of the National Board as a student, National Committee Chair, Chapter Counselor, BMP Steward, NUTS, BOG Donor, District Governor, Quest to Greece Mentor, Technology Task Force Chair, AVC Member. I mean, that basically tells me, if you really know the truth, it sounds like Mike can't hold a job. <laughs> the Mike Ellis SIGEP story. Nearly 40 years ago, thanks to his service as a student member of the National Board, Mike knew he'd want to continue contributing on the national level when he became an alumnus. An opportunity to do so presented itself just a year after graduation when he was tapped to chair the National Alumni Development Committee. While leading the committee, he also began a 10-year stint as a chapter counselor for our Northern Illinois chapter. Mike was also an early pioneer in the Balanced Man program and served on the alumni team that implemented the BMP at his home chapter of Indiana Alpha at Purdue. A former district governor, Mike has also been a frequent facilitator at Carlson, twice served as a mentor on the Tragos Quest to Greece, and Mike even wrote part of the Quest to Greece curriculum. Part of the reason Mike's able to do all this stuff is because he really isn't getting any younger. You know, Mike's been around for a while, so when he wrote that stuff for the Quest to Greece, all he had to do was call his childhood buddies Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, and, and he could get first-hand information on how to navigate Greece. And at several conclaves, Mike organized and facilitated meetings that brought chapter officers and volunteers together to better understand the practices for using social media. In fact, Mike has frequently utilized his experiences as a technology project management consultant to encourage volunteers to use technology to enhance chapter operations. As chair of the fraternity's National Technology Task Force, he led the way in advancing the virtual AVC concept. He's introduced several AVCs to applications that enable volunteers to communicate using video conferencing, shared documents, other tools. Thanks to these trainings, alumni who don't live near a chapter can now serve as mentors and participate in meetings. Mike has enabled out-of-town alumni to contribute and maintain a connection to SIGEP while also giving AVCs a greatly expanded pool of volunteers. AVCs following Mike's technology plan have also enjoyed smoother officer transitions and a high level of consistency because best practices have been documented and passed on to incoming officers. Mike knows the value of virtual volunteering firsthand. He currently serves as AVC secretary for the Purdue chapter, as well as Cal Berkeley, and he mentors the chaplain at our New York University SEC when he's not traveling around the world. Gary Keefe originally was gonna surprise you, Mike, and be the presenter of your award. Gary literally got hung up at the airport and after travel debacle after travel debacle, Gary could not make it this weekend. But he sends a message. Gary says that he marvels at how SIGEP has become Mike Ellis's true home. No matter what the challenges have been in Mike's life, he's managed to overcome them. But along the way, he has never quit serving Sigma Phi Epsilon. No matter what the challenges have been, Mike Ellis has never turned his back on Sigma Phi Epsilon. We have another person here with us, his, one of his dear SIGEP friends, Vic Madison, who has a few words he would like to add as well. I'm really thrilled to have a chance to be here. Mike and I first met as alumni volunteers at the Illinois Epsilon chapter at Northern Illinois. It was in the late 80s. Since then, we've become brothers in the truest sense of the word. We become business partners and we become good friends and we become best friends. The time you allowed me an, an inadequate amount of time to sing all the praises of Mike, so I'll just mention, brief, brief, briefly mention four traits. Mike represents honesty in, in, in everything that he does and integrity and commitment 
and wise counsel. He epitomizes Sigep's cardinal principles. He represents Sigep's balanced man, and Sigep courses through Mike's veins. Congratulations, Mike. You well deserve this. In his nearly 35 years as a volunteer, Mike has made an impact on just about every program SIGEP has undertaken. Regardless of the task or the time zone, he always brings fresh ideas and an eagerness to serve. As Vic mentioned, Mike truly epitomizes virtue, diligence, and brotherly love. As far as virtue goes, Mike is simply nice. He's truly nice and nice matters. In fact, he's so nice, I think he's even, he has like a remedial nice training program. He's working with Brad Narstedt and Daniel McVeigh to help them with being even nicer. That's how good Mike Ellis is. As far as brotherly love goes, Mike is constantly warm with everybody he meets. And the thing about Mike is, whenever you chat with Mike, it is never about Mike. It is always about you. And that's a special quality that really embodies the brotherly love aspect of Mike Ellis. As far as being diligent goes, there's a picture of Mike Ellis in the dictionary next to diligence. He doesn't know how to quit. He never quit in business. Business was sometimes good. Business was sometimes not so good. And oftentimes it was in between. And Mike Ellis, regardless, never gives up. He never quit in his role in SIGEP either. I can joke about Mike not holding a job because Mike is always looking toward the next job that needs to be done in our fraternity. Everyone loves Mike Ellis. He is all about the undergrads and he shies away from any recognition at all. Well, tonight, Mike, we caught up with you and we finally recognize you. Brothers and friends, please join me in welcoming a true SIGEP hero, our 2018 Exemplary Service Award recipient, Mike Ellis. Okay, somebody said we were going to be here three and a half more hours. Was that right, Brad? So that's about right. I mean, I, I timed my remarks so it should work. <laughs> thank you, really, thank you very much, Tom and Vic. I had no expectation that Vic was going to be here to present, so that's pretty cool. Thank you very much for that very kind and very flattering introduction. I don't know who your writer is, but I'd like to get his number because I could use that again sometime soon. Um, when I got a call from Brian Warren that I was being given this Exemplary Service Award, I was frankly quite overwhelmed. Um, my mind was racing a bit while we were on the phone. You know, I've been involved with SIGEP for many years in so many different activities, but it's really hard to think of myself as being someone who belongs in the same category with these guys, with Paul Litcher, with Jay Hurt, with Joe Langella. Those are the guys, along with all the other recipients of this great award, that I've always looked up to and admired, not only for their tremendous commitment, but also for their amazing contributions of time, talent, and treasure. But this is a humbling honor, and I'm genuinely grateful to the National Board and to the staff for including me among this year's recipients. But then the other shoe dropped on our phone call. Brian said, we'd like you to make a speech at the Carlson Leadership Academy in Chicago. <laughs> I thought, oh my God, what on earth can I say to 800 undergrads, something like that, and alumni and guests that anyone is gonna wanna hear? So 
And it had to be 10 minutes, by the way. Brad, did you factor that in? Okay, perfect. I've been stewing on this really for the last few weeks since I got Brian's call, and I listened to some examples of speeches from past recipients to see if I could get any good ideas. Well, being a tech guy of sorts, I even Googled it to see how many words that would have to be. So if you're counting, my target is supposed to be 1,500 words. Keep track of that. Um, one thing I knew I would have to do is mention some of the people who have influenced me during my time as a SIG app. Some of them you surely know. Many of them you don't know at all. But they have been vitally important to me. And over the 30 years or so that I've been a SIG app volunteer, there are way too many to mention, even a small fraction of those who have touched my life. Some of those guys decided to be here tonight, and even my sister's here tonight to celebrate with us. She's the one that introduced me to SIG app. And that was extra. Those are, that comes out of my word total now. Um, <laughs> but for the sake of the undergrads in the room, I do want to point out just a few just to illustrate the kind of impact that SIGEP can have on you long after you leave college behind. For example, past Grand President Frank Ruck, you know, of the Ruck Leadership Institute, you've heard of him, right? He was a wonderful, caring man who was also funny and cultured and interesting and interested. He taught me to appreciate red wine of all things, starting with Beaujolais. He sent me on a course to love and explore wine everywhere in the world. Then there's Order of the Golden Heart recipient Conrad Eberstein, who couldn't be with us tonight, and his wife Jackie, who opened the door to US Civil War history to me. They helped me explore my new home city of New York, Conrad showed me how much SIGEP would be a part of my whole life, giving me untold opportunities to be of service to my fellow human beings, teaching young men how to achieve their own highest purposes. Wally and Jean Dowd, some of you know Wally, past Grand President, Order of the Golden Heart, retired Vice President of IBM, they became my career counselors decades ago when I was first considering jobs at IBM coming out of college. Then again, when I made the momentous career transition from manufacturing into sales. And once more, when I decided to leave IBM and start my own company. Over all those counseling sessions, sometimes by phone, by letters, oh, wait a minute, most of you in the audience will think of those as email. Um, and sometimes in their homes in Maine and Florida. These two have cemented themselves as treasured friends in my SIGEP community. And of course, not to be left out, there's Vic Madison, who is here tonight to help me celebrate. Where is he? Where'd he go? There he is. He's been my confidant, my mentor, and my business partner. He's my closest friend in the world. I met him through our time on the ABC at Northern Illinois, and those boys are here with us tonight too. Thank you for coming. I can't name all the guys who have had influence on me and given to me in so many ways, but it seemed important to show you how vast and varied your SIGEP world can be, well beyond and in addition to those brothers you're building lifelong friendships with right now. SIGEP is forever in your life. The brotherly love you find comes to you through whichever volunteering you decide to do throughout the rest of your life. The second thing I knew I would have to address is the question of which makes me, what makes me personally give my time as a volunteer over so many years. A simple answer, it turns out, is not all that simple. For me, it's rather fundamental, and I hope that at least a few of you in the crowd will understand my perspective and maybe even share it. You see, in preparing for this speech, I decided to go back to our ritual to find the meaningful things I could share with you. The first one that hit me when I joined SIGEP in, ready for this, 1981, was, quote, 
The Bible and the ritual and guide of Sigma Phi Epsilon fraternity embody much of the same philosophy, unquote. Recently, at my church, I went through an exercise to try to distill into three words what it meant to me to be a Christian. Well, I got it down to five words, which worked for me. Apparently, as you can see, I have a thing about counting words. Um, love God and each other. I think SIGEP gave me some daily tools for living that totally match up with that statement. Virtue, diligence, and brotherly love give me a SIGEP version of do unto others as you would have others do unto you. As I was preparing for tonight, I was reminded of something that had been said before about making commitments. That if a man vow a vow unto the Lord, or swear an oath to bind him in a bond with his brothers, that he shall not break his word. I took my oath when I became a SIGEP, and I never stopped using it to remind me of my duty to live up to the high ideals that we are all pursuing. These words particularly have stood out to me. Without making unjust demands upon myself, I will give without reservation of my time and talents. For me, volunteering has been the outward expression of my oath and of virtue and diligence. It's been the bedrock of brotherly love in my whole adult life. The last thing for me to touch on is what message I can leave you with. And for those that are keeping count, we should be at about 1,100 words now. We're getting close, I promise. <laughs> what can I say that might inspire you to live out your best life using SIGEP as your guide? How can I explain that SIGEP is a pathway in your life toward the attainment of whatever you define as your personal success? A great life, a great SIGEP life, includes and is even centered on finding ways to give back to the world around you. The lessons of sound mind and sound body, the principles of virtue, diligence, and brotherly love, are not just clever catchphrases or marketing slogans that you print on t-shirts. By the completion of your own personal development plan in the Balanced Man program, you have built your own foundation for a lifetime of excellence, however you define that for yourself. It can and should include diverse experiences, connections to all kinds of people from all walks of life with all sorts of backgrounds and interests. The varieties of joys that wait for you in such a life are abundant and amazing. So, don't cheat yourself. SIGAP offers vastly more to you after you graduate than even the tremendous amount that you're getting right now while you're in school. Cherish the friends you make in your chapter during your time in school, but look forward with anxious anticipation to the lifelong friends you'll make in SIGAP after you get your diploma and on the long and winding journey of the rest of your life. Finally, I'm done now, and I'm giving you back 150 words to use however you like tonight. Thank you.